Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. Yes, I'm back. It's been a while. We'll get into that in a bit. But welcome back to City Bus Manager, where today there's a brand new DLC. It's called Holiday Resorts and Sightseeing Buses. Now, there is 10 new lines. There is... Or 10 new buses, sorry. New types of lines, new scenarios and events, and new ticket types. And we're going to do one of the scenarios. That is Tourist Rush. In the high season, the Tourist Rush descends on your vacation destination. Hotels are fully booked. The airports are overcrowded. The sites are busting at the scenes. Now it's up to you to build an efficient transportation network to handle the increasing demand while ensuring punctual transfers. Can you master the rush and take your company to the top? Now we are going to be not using any of our modded buses. So hopefully there's a good amount of decent like buses. And we're going to use Falmouth in the southwest of the UK because it's on the seafront. It's a holiday location. And I feel like it's going to be a challenge. And that's what I like to have in Seat Bus Manager. A nice challenge. As you can see here, it is definitely going to be a challenge. Oh my god, most of these little villages don't have town have buildings in them. Oh no, maybe I've made a mistake here. But we'll find out. So, we're going to have the depot right next to the dock. Now, let's see what the uh, objectives are for this. Build a strong note. Okay. So, accept three holiday transfer offers and complete them successfully every day. Transport 2,500 passengers to the destination of the following type of fun. So, holiday transfers are on there. Or transfer orders. Oh, my God. Okay. So, first off, I feel like we need to get some... Um, basic network setup. So just give me a quick minute and I'll get a basic depot setup. Okay. Basic depot setup. Lovely jubbly. Transfer cart. That's new. That's a quirky bus. So I never use the non-modded buses. So I have no idea what's good and what's bad. They give you electric ones straight away. That's kind of quirky as well. Um, let's just get five of... Let's go five of these. Uh, and let's just give them a nice light blue colour. Forgot to build the other essentials, which is lifting platform, a bus wash, and a gas station, which we'll just put right next to the bus wash. We need to have some lockers. So our staff can get ready for work. I learned recently you can put them in corridors. So I've now just started just filling corridors up with uh, lockers. It's a bit more efficient. Wait, can I put... You can put them in the break room? Oh, that's amazing. That's really, really good. Uh, bus drivers. Okay, there we go. That should be enough. We need a warehouse as well. So, we need to get some bus routes. We need to make some money. Because at the moment, we're in the minuses. Which isn't the best, I'll be honest with you. Not the best. So, we are going to... Oh, okay. We've been in night contract already. Okay, so... Standard line is a normal public bus service. Sightseeing scene line is for tourists. Travel only possible with a sightseeing day ticket. Preferably connected to sites and attractions. For now, we're just going to do a bus service. We'll do a couple of loops around here and there. Uh, let's try and figure out like a nice quirky route. Okay, we've got a little loop here. 25 minute journey. Pretty good if you ask me. That might be a decent money maker. So let's get that set up. It's going to be, we'll just do it half an hourly service from 5 till 10. Well, 4 till 10. And we'll just see how that does for money to begin with. Because it might be terrible. But there's only one way to find out how good this little village is going to be for bus services. And if we just throw too many buses, then we can reduce them. Uh, what we'll do as well is we'll do another route as well. Another standard bus route. We'll start from here again. And then we'll loop around this section. Because we didn't actually serve this section on this route. So let, let me just quickly make that. Okay, we've got another route. Just about. That was a lot of effort to try and make a bus route then. Because nearly every road in this estate is a dead end. Which makes me think, is it a housing estate? Or is it a, a caravan park? I don't know. Anyway, 
there's route number two, and we're going to do the exact same as the other route. Do a stupidly frequent service and see how it does. Because it might do good, it might do absolutely terrible. But there's only one way to find out, and that's to waste money to find out how much money we can make. So there's two bus routes there. I want to get one to go into this area, because this looks quirky. Um... And then we could maybe do like a loop around there. The issue is all of these places don't have anything interesting. Like there's no like, there's loads of stuff there. But it would mean the dead run would have to go. Let's just see how long the dead run would be. From here to let's say here. That's a 34 minute drive. <laughs> oh no. I feel like I've gave myself too much of a challenge here. Yeah? Okay, route one starting, route two is going to dead run. Okay, I think we want to try and get a sightseeing bus set up straight away. But to do that, I think I'm going to need one of these. Sightseeing, co yes. Okay, let's, let's find a nice sightseeing bus. That one, we'll do that one. We'll buy two of those. There you go, yeah, there you go. There's some like open top. Well, again, we'll make them bright blue. And then we'll make the secondary color black. There we go. Okay, let's 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 try and make a sightseeing service. Okay, so the, so the sightseeing one, we've got to connect to hotels and points of interest. So we're going to start the service here, I think. And we'll just loop around. Again, I need this to be bright colour so I can see where I'm going. Okay, so we've got 12 hotels. And 38 points of interest. We could probably try and push that up to 42. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so it's a 19 minute route. Can we shorten it at all? There you go, 17 minutes. That means we could do an every 20 minute service with just one bus. Let's try that. Let's see if that works. Again, 20 minute service. And we'll finish it at 10pm. And we'll we'll just start it at 4am just to see if it works. So, there's new tickets. There's a sightseeing day ticket. Let's look, back, look at the tickets again. Sightseeing day ticket, which is quite expensive to be honest with you. Let's just pump up these tickets a little bit so we are making a profit. And then let's have a look at these tours. So, they are making money. What's our subsidy on? 338. Okay, that's good. That's really, really good. Okay, we need a 44% coverage of the network. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Let's get another bus route set up. Oh, it's a, it's a university campus. Okay. And again, 4 a.m., 10 p.m. Uh, so we'll make we'll make these timetables a bit more efficient at some point. Okay, that ticked us off two objectives, which is pretty good. Oh, ticked off another object. We're getting all the objectives now. Okay, so we'll do that one. Oh, we can get some double-decker sightseeing buses as well. That'll be good. And some coaches. Okay. Audio guide. That'll be good for the sightseeing buses. That would, like, it'll be like, to tell you, like, on your left, you'll see a rock. On your right you'll see a bigger rock. That's what I'm guessing the sightseeing uh, guide is going to be. Um, skip to the morning. Okay, you're getting that bus. You're getting that bus. You're getting that bus. You're getting that bus. Oh, hello. Hotel transfer officer. Office, office, not officer. Order, order. Order, not office or officer. We need a coach shuttle for tourists who can register daily for a next day's trip. You'll need to plan a suitable route each evening based on the registrations. We expect six passengers per day and pay for 28 passengers transported. Boom, we'll do it. Okay, so we gotta wait till 7 p.m. and then that's when we decide the route that we have to do it. Okay, sound. Let's see how bad these services run at 4 a.m. in the morning and let's see which ones we can cut. Cause 4 a.m., bit early for a small little town like this. If we load up bus times, and I'll try and find out what the earliest bus is in Falmouth. Oh, okay, so the uni service runs 24-7. Oh, okay, that's a different than I thought it was going to be. Other than that, 
The earliest bus is 6 a.m. Oh, wow, the U1 is exactly, to, like, identical to the route that we made. Except for it goes all the way to New Key. Afterwards. That's a long university route. Does it go to multiple unis? I'll just quickly show this on the recording. Look at this for a university route. So it goes Falmouth up to here to Tr Tree Morgue Uni, which is where it does its 24 7 services. It's got a whole bunch of variations as well. And then. It's all the way up to Tura, or New Key, through Tura. That's a long journey. Anyway, we just got sold 190 tickets. Look at us go. We're in the profit for today. Look at us go. Zero people are registered for this, this tour. Oh my god, the sightseeing must have been used. But are they just using it as a commuting service? Yeah, I think Route 4 is going to be the unprofitable one. Out of all of them. Barely anyone on board. We should probably name our routes just so it's easier to recognise. Okay, we are out of buses already. Uh not not a good sign. Not a good sign whatsoever. Uh any of these come back for eleven twenty five. No. Okay, let's let's buy another few buses. How many spaces have we got left actually? We have ten 10 in the garage, so let's buy two more. Okay, we got one of the bronze goals, which is good. They want us to expand the bus network again to 63%. There's no one here. Because that uni service needs an extra bus. Let's get an extra bus an hour on that service. The issue is, it's a 10, it's a 20 minute journey, I think. 19 minutes journey. So it's going to be a tight turnaround. And I know for certain the game tomorrow is going to want us to do it as a one bus does that duty and it's in and out, in and out, in and out. I think the sightseeing service needs an extra bus. It's a 16 minute journey. Let's give it 10 bus every, every 10 minute service. But does it need an every 10 minute service all day? It doesn't need to start till about Six. We'll push it back to six for now. Oh, we got a bit of a queue coming on at the service centre. Let's get another service in point. That can start about half six. We'll push it back to six for now. Again, like the other route. Uh, uni route. How's that one? Oh my god. It is full, full, full. Again, that could also get pushed back to six o'clock start. Let's do... Let's do a... Five o'clock start on it just because it might get busy. Okay, water, uni, town loop. There we go. And then, how's the town loop? How was that this morning? Do you add an all right amount of people? I think what we'll do is we'll push it back to half four. Oh, it's a railway. Where do you want to go? There, 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 there. Okay. What was the terms and conditions on it? 186 passengers per hour. I know, I forgot to plan. Oh my, from here? Oh my god. <laughs> How many buses do you want to use? Just the one. Calm down, game. Confirm. Okay. Three to plan for tomorrow. Um. Can we get a double decker? Yeah. Guys, can you can you research? Yeah. I mean in theory I've got enough spare buses for it. Just about. They'll be back for 445, and I think the first one's out at five. Okay. It's gonna be tight. Gonna be definitely gonna be tight. I well, we might as well research all the extra stuff now. We got the Omni City. I really don't like this model, because it's really long. <laughs> It's stupid how long it is. So I'm going to research another double decker so we can get like a decent double decker. We've got coaches as well. Maybe a coach could work for rail placement contracts. They're all running together. 
Oh, they are getting spread out slowly, but surely. Okay, what we'll do is we'll bring two of these buses back to garage. Because there's no need for all of them to be running. Because I read this contract wrong. I thought it said 186 per hour, not per rush hour. There we go. We only need one bus out, to be honest. I forgot to look at the 10 p.m. services. Okay, yeah, you're being cut. <laughs> you'll finish at 9 p.m. To, oh, to the next day. Oh, wow. The uni just dies off really quickly. It's stupidly busy. And then dies. Oh, bear with me. Got another phone call coming through. Uh, sightseeing. Uh, how's the rail placement doing? All right. Hotel transfer. 45 passengers per day and 27 pound. Hell yeah. Where is this place? <laughs> no idea where they are. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that was really quick rail placement. <laughs> 4,300. That was all right. Didn't need to put four buses on straight away. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was quick. Uh, rail placement service. From Thursday to Saturday, buses must run every 15 minutes. And we expect 176 passengers in the rush. That one's a bit more of a challenge. Because it's going up here. Yeah, I'm going to have to decline that one. Sorry. I would do it if it was local. Okay, let's see how how rushed our buses are in the morning. Because I kind of want to do some quirky into working. But I don't know how the service is going to be. <laughs> For example, like I could make this hourly at some point of the day. And have it loop with either the town loop or maybe go on to like a uni or something like that. To provide an extra bus. But I do think I want to do some uni short journeys as well. I might do that actually for the next day. That's a sightseeing bus. Uni, where are you at? We'll just leave it as it is for now. 63 people. I'm going to have to decline you. I don't have a bus big enough. I'm very sorry. Um, how's the research going? Did we get the second double decker? We did. What did we get? New route master. That just won't work here. <laughs> uh, what should we research next? Let's increase our bus quality. And let's let's try and get like a... It looks like we're going to get like an open top Gemini. Let's hope for that. We've got five people in the service and I'm using a full-size bus. Oh, It's kind of annoying me how slow the research is happening. So we're going to get a third researcher. Because we're okay in the money front at the moment. Might move the start finish for the town loop to be from here. Or can we change it so at night it's from here? To a new mini series to see bus manager whilst I figure out what I'm doing in Birmingham one. Um, we're going to continue this another time. We're going to try and get to gold medal thing. Uh, hopefully there won't be too much of a gap on this series. Uh, thanks for watching. We've got two hotel runs. We've got four, well, three service routes and one sightseeing route, which is making loads of money. We're researching for a double-decker, which will hopefully make us even more money. So we can save a drive and all that kind of jazz. But yeah, thank you all for watching. And I shall see you all in the next part, which hopefully will be in a couple days. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.